Hey guys, in this video tutorial, I'll show you what are the four main types of domain uh, configuration that you need to do with your Techmatics account. So the first one will be the branded domains. The second will be the website and funnel domains. Um, third will be the client portal domains. And fourth would be the email dedicated domains. So I'll show you where to find uh, those section inside your Techmatics account. So first, branded domains. Branded domains can be set up on your settings. And then a business profile. Let's just wait for this one to load. And it would be this branded domain right here. So this is where you're going to set up your branded domain. If you're going to hover through this like eye icon right here, it will give you the option or it will give you the instruction to have a C name linked with your Techmatics account pointing to brand.lulicruise.cloud. So this is a Techmatics server. We already have a um, training uh, set up or like uploaded for this one. So you can just check out in our playlist to check out how you can um, set up rebranded domain. The second would be website and funnel domains. So the website and funnels, uh, funnel domains can be configured uh, on the same section on settings, but it will be this domain bar right here. So when you click on domain, you have the option to add a record, um, maybe an A record or a C name record inside Techmatics. Both of the C name and um, A records has different um, what do you call this? Different server that you need to point your, uh, your record into. And if you guys have your domain uh, maybe set up or um, or hosted in Go GoDaddy, Cloudflare, Ionos, and Google domains, you will have the access for our, I mean, you will have access to our automatic um, domain connection, uh, which you don't have to add records manually if you have those domains. I mean, if you have your domain hosted from those four servers that I mentioned. So let's so have, for example, I'm going to add an A record that is net. Let me just use this one. If you're going to click on add record manually, this is the records that you need to have, I mean, to point your records into. So first would be the A record pointing to this value. And second would be the C name for the www dot pointing to this value. Let's have, for example, if you are not using or you won't be um, pointing your A record or your root domain inside Technetics, you might need to maybe just point a, a C name record. So C name records look like this, it usually looks like text that your domain.com. So it has the text here on the first part, and then your domain right here, and then .com or .com.eu, .co.nz, depending on what your domain is. So this for example, I will have mine as um, uh, maybe learn.techmatics.net. When you click on add record manually, this is a required value that needs to be set. So it's actually the same uh, value for your C name for the www. So yeah, so this is the second configuration you can do. This would be for your websites and funnel pages inside Techmatics. So this, uh, the third uh, domain configuration that we need to do is your client portal domains. So where to find a cli uh, client portal domains? Since we're currently on your settings, just click on go back so you can go back to your main dashboard. The client portal configuration can be found on websites and funnels. And then, uh, let's just wait for that. And then here in client portal. So just go to settings and then go to domain setup. So let's just wait for that. Yeah, here we go. So just click on domain setup. And this is basically where you're going to set up your custom domain for your portal. So uh, I already have mine set up, but I'll just um, delete this domain for the sake of this setup. Um, yeah, let me just remove that. So let me just try to, uh, what you're going to do is you need to uh, to type in whatever domain that you want to link with your account. So again, if you are hosting your website, or I mean your, uh, your domain in Cloudflare, GoDaddy, Ionos, or Google Domain, you will have access to the automatic domain configurator or domain connector. So this, for example, um, I'll maybe just use a C name for this one because we already use up all of our um, domains. So I'll use courses.techmatics.net. 
and then you can just click on add domain and again you have the option to add records manually if you have your uh domain server or domain uh hosted on maybe crazy domain namecheap and stuff like that you might need to add record manually but if you have your um domain hosted to those four um domain server like sites that i mentioned before you can just click on continue and then oh this is invalid domain okay sorry there's a typo let me just replace it with a, a period right here add domain click on continue you will have the same process like this one and it will actually be the same process when you're adding a domain on your um websites and funnels so yeah so as you can see it's giving me the option or giving me uh the information that i have my domain hosted in google domains which give me um a quicker access on adding my domain automatically inside google domain same thing with cloudflare um godaddy and ionos but i'll just go back and add record manually to show you what are the value that needs to be added? So compare with um, the record or the value set for website and funnels, we have a different required value for our portal or our courses. So it's, it needs to be pointing into this uh, value right here. So client portal that ludicrous that cloud. So if you're going to link a domain to your client portal, make sure that the value is pointing to this record. So where are we using this uh, client portal uh, link? the client portal link or whatever domain you're going to set up your client portal will be basically the link that you are going to use on your um what do you call this on your courses offers and stuff like that so yeah so let me just maybe try to bring it back to portal .com. add domain i'll just verify it all in all because i already have this domain set up Authorize domain. Let's just wait for that to load. So yeah, so I won't just go through with that one because I know I already set that one up. So I'll just let that be. So that's basically for uh, for client portal. And then lastly, we have the domain for email dedicated domains. So let me just show you where to configure that. So go back to settings again. And it will be here on email services. So let me just explain what's the current scenario with our emails. So by default, if we're going to sign up with Techmatics, if you or if you sign up with Techmatics, automatically you are sending from our domain, which is mg.techmatics.com. Due to the new email compliance set by Gmail or and also Yahoo, you need to send your emails from your own dedicated domain. So you can no longer send from mg.techmatics.com. So you need to set up your own dedicated domain inside your Techmatics account. So it should be coming from mg.yourdomain.com. So yeah. So whatever um like domain, I mean like dedicated domain that you're going to set uh to set up here make sure that it has the same domain that is linked to the emails that you're going to use to send emails from Techmatics. So for example, if you have your email or if the email that you're going to use to send out emails from the Techmatics platform is coming from natatechmatics.net, make sure that the email, I mean the dedicated domain set up or verified on your email services is coming from mg.techmatics.net. So let me just go back to my email services. Uh, you can just click on create dedicated domain here, but it ha if it happens, you have closed that down. You can just click on dedicated domain and IP here in the top right. And this is where you're going to set up your dedicated domain. So just click on add domain. Let's have, for example, I'll maybe using mg.techmetics.net. Let's see if I haven't set that one up yet. Click on add and verify. I actually, I actually already have set up, uh, have it set up. Let me just try to create new. Uh, hang on, mg.techmatics.net. Uh, add and verify. I know, uh, hang on, just give me one sec. So I just updated it so I can show you the demo or how it looks like. Um, again, it, we have a domain, uh, domain connection um, integration from four domain server, Ionos, Cloudflare, 
um, Google domains and GoDaddy. So if you have your domain hosted from those server, you can just automatically um, create or like uh, like link and verify your domain from there. If not, you can just click on add record manually and add all of these records manually to your domain server. So the, the email dedicated domain consists of two text records, a C name and two MX records. So if you guys have any questions about this one, you can just email us at support at .com so we can explain thoroughly what are the use of these records. So yeah, so that's basically it. That's four main domain uh, configuration that you can do with your Techmatics account if you're going to sign up with Techmatics. If you guys have any que uh, questions, issues that you're, uh, you're currently having with setting up those domains, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at support at so we can um, we can help you 